Hello everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a Libra, all placements of Libra reading. This is a timeless channeled reading um, with channeled messages. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now with some Oracle cards and then we'll have some tarot cards. And, you know, a lot of people enjoy the decks I use. So check out the description box for that as well as the disclaimer. Let's see what we have. Water Spirit, Manifesting Your Dreams, Libra, card 46. Okay. There's an otter here. Now, one thing I will say, otters are good mamas. So, and there's the baby otter right there. Okay. So we have water sign energy coming in, the water element coming in. And so emotions, think emotions. This could be a very maternal energy, Libra. Your mom could have been your best friend. Maybe your mom is your best friend or your best friend with your child. Uh, but we, we have that coming in. I'm seeing one is worried about the other. One otter here seems to be worried about the other. So only take what resonates, Libra. You know your story best. You have free will final say. You know, again, there's that disclaimer there, but but let's see what else we have here for you. Uh, no, I'd like to get another one of these. Manifesting dreams. So these are messages for the greatest, highest good of Libra, spirit, skies, angels, God. What do we have? Ancestors, what do we have? Libra, ancient oak. So we have some earth energy here with strength. Okay, card two. So the numbers four, six, two could mean something to you. They're all even numbers, interestingly enough. Um, I'm hearing something about there's yin and yang here, the yin and yang energy. So sort of the opposites, the balancing out of things, things balancing out, things being checked out even. You're, something's being checked out, examined here. Uh, maybe you're getting an examination of some kind or a test or something like that. Let's see what else we have for you, Libra. Thanks to all my subscribers. I appreciate your support so much, very, very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It does look like half the people who watch the channel are not subscribed yet and you're regular viewers. So I would appreciate if you would, you know, totally your call though. All right. We have mindfulness, stairway to personal power. And again, now we have, um, it looks like otters here could also be, uh, well, seems like little groundhogs too. I'm getting like otter, moose, groundhog energy here, okay? And then we have another card here for you, Libra, breaking down your constructs, embracing new opportunities with a whole lot of bears here. And I think an owl, um, picking up on owl energy as well. So there's no doubt about something, okay, Libra, no doubt. There's a new perspective coming in. You have dragonfly here too. You know, letting your uh, letting your own light, light shine, being strong enough, standing in your own strengths, your own abilities, Libra. That is the advice here. That's what I'm feeling too. And then I have uh, these could also be prairie dogs too. Um, this is a yeah stairway to personal power. So again, there's like these your roots here, sticking to roots, sticking to your higher per, uh, your ability to have like a higher perceptions, your ability to tune in, Libra. Okay, to to cosmic energy to spirit um this is it's 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 reminding us that we have uh way more um uh power than we realize there i'm also getting an energy of self-protection like a mystical self-protection here libra so yeah these are these are actually so there are three prairie dogs here and then there's a prairie dog here breaking through this wall this is about your inner and outer vision being clear okay so this is about you being able to see everything you need to see all right so the prairie dogs are letting you know that they're they're that you're part of a larger community even if it's just ancestral and i don't mean just but even if it's ancestral okay uh this, this right here too this is connecting to your vision here it's being pointed right there's like lines being pointed to the third eye of the moose, to the third eye of the prairie dog, to the third eye of you. This is about your collective consciousness connection, okay? And that's part of this. Um, this is about, uh, okay, the blue moose here. Let's see. Blue moose, that can have to do with strength. Let's see what else. Uh, confidence. So this is about, you know, you being able to um, express your joy, Libra. Yeah, not hiding your accomplishments. So this is 
they're all looking right at each other in a way okay so it's like direction it's like so you're getting someone's interest here all right and that's how your dreams are manifesting i believe for some of you and i just find you know the, the otter here and the prairie dogs i mean they're very kind of similar uh animals in some ways and they're kind of all looking in different directions and i feel like this is your ability to see uh have a, a total awareness of what's going on around you and it is cool this comes around the time of i'm recording this just that same week of the total solar eclipse which does have to do with you know heightened awareness here and uh yeah so this is um you may be paying attention to the night sky as well the last couple of weeks here libra and your wherever whenever you do find this this is timeless but i do sometimes like to share just when i've post when i've posted it just to give some people a reference point here and you know breaking down your constructs this is you know this is about yes embracing new opportunities but this is about you knowing that you've got to bring things into balance here okay so this is this is about you being very busy. Take time to enjoy the sweetness of life here, okay? Um, this is about, uh, let's see, like you can see there's a guardian here kind of looking over. I'm getting sort of a guardian of an owl again. See, things that you can't see are being taken care of by your guides, by spirit. This is about also your confidence here, Libra. All right, you having confidence that... Uh, you will have what you need and you will see what you need to see when you need to see it. Sometimes we can't get all the information right away. This is about, uh, you know, Mother Gaia helping you manifest as well. These are about uh, really, really amazing opportunities coming your way, Libra. All right. Uh, and just having that confidence, knowing that you can, in fact, do anything that you put your heart, what you put your soul, that you put your mind into. OK, so those are just some messages. Um, that I'm getting from those cards for you. Let's see what else we have for lovely Libras. I feel like we want to go into tarot right now. Mm, yeah, let's do that. I'm using the Golden Girls tarot deck. One of the decks I'll be using today is the Golden Girls. And it only comes in this size, otherwise I'd buy every size they have. But I just thought, um, I was connecting to some grandmother energy, okay? And so I am getting uh, maybe some of you, I just feel some of you may have a real connection to the Golden Girls. You and a loved one shared that, okay? So let's go ahead and see. They have your best interests at heart. They always have Libra. Let's see, Natalie is coming through in Athena. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, Daryl, the name Daryl is coming in taking something to heart even so the knight of wands is coming through um this is stanley <laughs> the character stanley coming through knight of wands that was dorothy's ex-husband he was always sort of a schemer you know so it's sort of this like fast moving energy you know he's really passionate about whatever he's doing and um it does take place in florida if you're wondering but um to give you a little background it was a, a show in the 80s you know four women living together uh older women and um yeah, so having their little uh, their life adventures together. So something could be coming in um, with great passion. Maybe you have some passion about something and you're about to act quickly on something though. Okay, let's see what else. Definitely passion energy. This is fiery energy. So you've got the water and the fire, again, like balancing things out. Over here, I'm getting just a lot of uh, earth, energy i'm hearing some of you are a candidate for something or it could be also the name candace again remember these are general not personal um you will not resonate with everything i say in this 45 minutes or however long we have together someone's sharing your uh, joy for you okay it could be in this realm on the other side but they're sharing in your happiness yeah ten of swords look at this <laughs> i find it interesting because here this is her ex-husband actually behind her and the Ten of Swords. So she's been hurt. Dorothy is in. Dorothy's been hurt in the past by, um, you know, the actions of Stanley. So she, I won't say all. Just all right. So if you're Golden Girls feeling great, and if you're not, then that's fine too. But giving a little bit of reference to the show because we are using that deck. So those names could mean something too. You'll notice she actually has a picture of Stanley that she's cutting the swords into. Now he actually was unfaithful to her. 
So this could be putting something that um, a betrayal behind you, Libra. You're putting a betrayal behind you and you're looking out. Now, what is she looking out into? The Eight of Pentacles. And here we have Blanche happily making a cake. All right. So um, making the cake here, uh, putting on the, the little details. So you're maybe maybe you're looking forward to finding joy in something um, that's going to require your attention, your, your effort, your, uh, there's a lot, there's like many steps involved in a certain thing here. Libra, I would like to get a bird card too. Some of you are highly connected to birds. Your loved ones are, it's a very spiritual animal. Let's see what we get. Brand new bird deck here I have for us. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Crane concentration, alertness. Yeah. And here we are. We have to be concentrated. We have to be alert in order to focus on all the steps in this process, Libra. For some of you, you're recovering from something too. This is calm, effervescent emotions and calmness lies power. So no matter what happens, if you have a Stanley in your life trying to come in, it could be a person, place thing coming and trying to upset your peace, you know, and keep you up at night, that sort of thing here. Um, remember to stand firm in, um, in, in, in focus on what it is that you, where you're headed, where you know you want yourself to be heading. Okay. Cause that's where your power lives in that confidence, in that, uh, focus Libra, that focus, we're going to cover Stanley up for now. All right. So, and, and beware of get rich quick schemes too. Okay. And remember Libra, you are in fact, a light in this world here, you're, um, is we want you to know. Um, your voice wants to be listened to. Okay, canary, beautiful voice singing. People love the, the yes, yellow of the canary as well as it, its its beautiful singing voice. So you are a light in this world. Please don't ever forget it, even if your person is not here to tell you that anymore, Libra. A lot of positivity. Things are going to shift for you. Okay, here we have Sophia. Now, Sophia is Dorothy's mother. She's from Italy. She's always saying, picture it, 1957, you know, <laughs> in Italy. So... Um, this is the Hierophant, Taurus energy here with this. So, so far you do have earth energy, air energy, fire energy, water. So you have everything here, all the elements, okay? All the elements are here, which tells me you have a lot of resourcefulness. You have a lot of resources working for you in your favor um, towards, you know, whatever it is you want. Now, there's something about things being very traditional here. Maybe you're really good at something in, in filling a traditional role, or you're really good at, um, I just heard carpentry. So really good at, at like building, building things here too, uh, and navigating tricky situations. Some, uh, you could really be a teacher and advisor to someone here. Okay. Who, um, maybe, you know, to people who really need, who really need, um, safety even I'm hearing. Okay. Or maybe you're feeling as though you need to be able to feel safe around certain people. I'm getting something about not cutting corners. Okay. We don't want to be cutting corners at all. Libra. What else do we have here? Okay. Archangel guide. What is this? Wow. Okay. We have a lot of cards here, Libra, and they all came out. And so I'm taking all of them. We have the four of wands. Okay. 11, 11. There's divine timing. Now all this, all these want to come together. So we're not separate. This is one whole story right here for you, Libra. Quick and fast. Let's get down to it. Four of wands, 11, 11 cards. So something to do with divine timing. There is a, a reason to celebrate here. Okay. No matter how old you are, Libra, the message with this particular energy I'm getting is no matter how old you are, you can still celebrate. You can still get up and dance with the best of them. You can still do whatever it is that you want to do. All right. It's so, oh my goodness. They're giving me this. Um, okay. It's very, it's very interesting. I've never heard. This. So the, sometimes the chicken that was marinated the longest is in fact the spiciest, the zestiest and, and, uh, the most, uh, well, delicious, <laughs> frankly. Um, so just because you're, you're older, maybe, uh, doesn't mean that you can't still be chosen and the best and that sort of thing and vibrant and full of life flavor as that chicken marinated, you know, so very interesting way they're, they're uh, coming through. So there could be a connection there about somebody, uh, maybe they marinated their chicken a certain way and you loved it. And now you do it. I don't know, but that's only for you to figure out, I guess. So four of wands there. All right. So, um, uh, something here with your wisdom too. We have a uh, king of swords here. You're going to have to make, um, yeah, some sort of decisive energy here. Very decisive. I'm getting something about your dad's ring, dad's dad's jewelry, cufflink, something to do with dad is coming through here, Libra. All right, let's see how what else we have here. So a celebration, success. All right. Uh, again, staying focused, stay clear minded, clear headed. That's how you're going to enjoy this the most, Libra. Ace of Wands. Okay, there's your wand of inspiration, motivation, action, taking action, taking hold, Libra. If there's somewhere you want to go, go for it. If you feel like, again, back to dancing for some reason, you want to dance, dance. 
if you want to, you know, whatever it is you're doing, you're the best at it. Okay. Just, just, that's the energy we want to be, uh, bringing in. Okay. That's the energy we want to be focusing on here, Libra, the King of Cups and the, the King of Cups here. And maybe, okay. So I'm not even going to go back to that. That's nope. We're not getting sidetracked. So King of Cups here. Uh, so when I'm doing these channeled messages, Libra, I do tend to go a little bit faster. Sometimes I tend to get just this little, oh, stream of consciousness. That is me channeling for you. Okay. Every once in a while, it's, it's or a little bit of tidbit connected from my own life, but again, it's being drawn out by spirit. Okay. To, to, to deliver this message for you messages for your greatest and highest good, all who are viewing. So King of Cups energy here, uh, nice two Kings. They balance each other out. Again, we were getting that yin yang over here. Things coming full circle for you, for some of you, Libra. Now, not giving up. We don't want to be giving up. There's seven of wands here. If you want to wear a funky hat in public, if you want to, you know, there's no time like the present, right, Libra? We don't know how many days we have. We don't know any of that. Just like we didn't expect to lose people when we did or pets, whatever, we, when we did, but things happen. So it's really important that you go fetch, okay? Live your life, live your dreams now. This is message wisdom from the dog. This may remind you of a dog you had, um, I'm also getting more bear energy, honey bear, honey bears coming in. This was a nickname possibly for someone. Okay. Honey bear. And, um, I'm getting Alita, Lita or Alita. Okay. So Lily as well, Lily, Liliana, anything like that. All right. Okay. So shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. Who's like Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Uh, okay. Nona. Somebody is saying Nona. I'm touching this grandmother card. I'm getting Nona. Nona. So uh, Italian grandmother, Nona. Nona and no, 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 no. Grandfather, I think. Okay. So I just heard Tia Maria. So this is Aunt Maria. Okay. For some of you, it could also be the name Tia, but, but if you want to wear a hat with feathers, go for it. If you want to, you know, when are you going to live your life if you're not doing it now? This is, this is something that we all, I think at some point face, face, you know, when, when, it, when are we going to do it? When are we going to pick up that instrument and play it? When are we going to book that trip? When are we going to um, <laughs> bake that crazy thing you want to bake? When are you going to actually uh, publish something, you know? It, it, so many are all of our dreams. We all have these dreams. They're, they're deep within us for a reason. Sometimes those seeds of inspiration never go away. And it's like, we're being handed this wand here. Go for it, Libra, go for it. All right. Now the King of Cups, like I said, I like seeing these two, they're balancing each other out. There's very, very, a lot of pleasure here with whatever's in this cup here. And I can't be dancing. I, they're show, I've been having dancing ever since the very beginning of the reading. So I really love this. Oh, some of you had a large dog and you could, um, he would dance, he or she would dance with you. So I'm um, getting like their paws even on your hips or whatever. And you're almost like eye to eye with your dog and they're dancing. And some of them maybe weren't as tall, but they still, you, you danced with your dog or you put on little like dance parties for your cat or something, but I'm getting that. And they're loving that. They actually love that. That's so funny. It's almost like that's their, their way of uh, connecting with you on such a silly way. It's like, it's as though, you know, you're pretending to be a cat or a dog and then they're pretending to be a human. And it's just like this funny, uh, extra level of bonding. So some of you had a very extra level, uh, bond with, with your animals and they do not leave you. Okay. They don't leave our, their spirits never leave. Their soul is still with you. Okay. All right. So there, maybe their spirits free and soaring and, and that soul connection there is always there. All right, because they are like our children and I'm not trying to be offensive in any way when I say that, but they are really like children for some of us. Okay. It's the closest maybe some will have to that. And even people who have children say their pets are like their children. I'm also getting something about igloo and igloo. Mm. You had to build something in the cold, uh, in the darkness here. What do we have? Okay. Hermit. All right. So lovers and hermit. And there's something here about building a relationship out of almost nothing. It was a slow start, very slow moving here. Does it align with you? Does this align? Uh, are you really wanting to commit to this? This could be something that you just, you just have to have a little more information on. Um, you're definitely, you're going to want to uh, hear, turn up the stereo. Okay. So your loved ones could be communicating to you through songs, messages, music. Uh, also, you're going to want to make sure that you're, you're opening up yourself to the, uh, uh, messages that you're getting like channeling such as this right now that I'm doing for you or with you, this is, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you're keeping that you're opening your third eye, not just your third eye, Libra. It all comes through the heart chakra. Keep your heart chakra open. Do not block that door. All right. 
make sure you keep that open. You don't have to let everybody in, but there needs to be a way for you to open yourself up to what could be what something that you, you don't want to miss. Okay. Um, uh, so you, you want to be open when this, when the surprise comes in, you want to be ready to receive it. When the, when the love offer comes in, if it is in fact that that's the one for you, something that's really in alignment with your soul purpose, Libra, you want to make sure that, that, um, you have enough faith and trust in yourself to realize that I'm getting Ednor, 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 Eleanor and Davies, Davy. So you want to make sure that you have that and you recognize in yourself the growth here, the insight of getting Virgo energy here, that, that you yourself have the, um, you know, even when you're not even a hundred percent trust in yourself, that you still have that wisdom with you, those lessons, that strength Libra to manifest your dreams, to, to call it in and to know the difference between false and real. All right. So you, it's like, you're able to, um, maybe you feel as though you haven't made the best decisions, best choices, you know, have any of us made the perfect decisions all the time? No. Sometimes we have not chosen wisely. Sometimes we got tricked. Sometimes we didn't look carefully enough. I'm getting cancerian energy too. And Leo. So, um, it, it, it's, it's like, it doesn't matter. It does not matter right now. That's gone. That was a snippet in time. Focus on now. They're telling me like, focus on now you're getting, you're being given a head start on something. Some of you too. Okay. There's a, I'm getting something about your nest egg too. Um, do what you need to do with that. I'm not a financial strategist analyst or anything like that. All right. So some of you have given up meat. I'm hearing that. Okay. So vegetarian there, uh, that could be a, something specific about, about you that now confirms maybe something in this message. All right. For you. So what else do we have? Uh, Theodore and Thomas. The world coming full circle completion here. This is having everything, all right? Having it all, having uh, all the resources too, by the way, Libra, okay? This is a, a big idea, could be dropped into your lap, okay? This is another message for wisdom from the dog. Grab it and run with it, be ready. So again, it's like, again, like I just talked about, being open to something coming in that is for your greatest highest good, that is an alignment, being ready for it when it does come in. Cause you're going to, that's, I said before, you may have to make a quick decision here. Okay. That King of Swords, you're going to want to be sure in it, but guess what? There's a celebration here and things are happening in divine purpose with divine reason, divine purpose, divine, divine timing. Okay. Divine timing. You have Archangel Varadiel. Okay. This is Cancerian energy as well as Pisces energy, as well as Scorpio energy. So it's all water again. Just like that card, card 13, 13 could be lucky for you. Maybe you were born that day. Angel of hail and of the 11th hour. This is uh, going to be, pay attention in the next two months for some of you. Okay. Two months. I'm getting something about your freedom, power, and independence within the next two months. Pray for guidance. Okay. Uh, take a risk. This is about um, Hail Mary pass of offense and defense. This is uh, taking a risk, reincarnating something coming back to life. Think Phoenix. Okay. Uh, I help you find courage to do things you're afraid to do. And I help you pull off the impossible. No cause is lost. Go fetch, go fetch, go fetch, manifesting your dreams and go fetch interacting well together here. All right. So you're getting a surprise wisdom from the cat surprise coming in. Maybe you had a cat that looked like this. This was a cat. I'm also getting the, uh, again, dancer. Why do we keep, is dancer a name? I think it's one of the Rudolph, one of the reindeer, right? Um, yeah, dancer. So there's something, did you have an animal named after one of the reindeer? Like Rudolph, red-nosed reindeer. That's coming in. You may have had that or a nickname or something. Um, it could also be a place, a place. Uh, anyway, so this this cat could have been a prankster or this pet, whatever it is. Could have been a prankster. We're getting tabby cat, Maine Coon. Um, there's something about uh, they maybe they they jump out and surprise you. Okay, so there could be something about that. A very playful cat, like you played with your cat, like you could play with a dog or something. Like it was very interactive. Not your typical cat. Okay, uh, and or you know, are, is anyone ever typical in any breed? But then we have manifest here from thought to form. So you keep getting. These uh, all about, you know, you're able to bring it in. You have all the resources here. There's an idea. Something will be dropped. You need to express yourself. It's okay to stand out too, by the way. Animals have such confidence, right? They're not afraid about looking, uh, you know, looking silly and, and just being themselves. Okay. They have this confidence about them. Speaking of animals, let's get you an animal, 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 oracle card horse. And I just was talking about 
your freedom in the net within the next two months, Libra, from when you view this, your freedom, your power, your independence, that drive you have, embrace your untamed spirit, find liberation in your journey. Freedom isn't a destination, right? It's a journey, Libra. I feel like some of you have a magnet or something, or a little bookmark or something that says something about, um, you know, that quote, uh, freedom is not a you know, it's about the journey, not the destination, that sort of thing. Okay. So remember that that's, that's something you're going to want to read, try it, maybe read it every day. Maybe you already see it every day. I don't know. Let's see what else we have. I hear something about cosmic chemistry. That's making me think of love here. What do we have for that? I'm hearing something about an old station wagon. Uh, that could be a clue for some of you. Kylina. A name like Destron, Destron, Destronata. Um, what is that? Oh, what is, there's a vehicle, like an Eldorado? Yeah, okay. They're telling me Eldorado. And then there's the song too, though, Desperado. So I'm getting, um, sometimes clairaudiently, I will hear, uh, well, it's hard for me to explain this in a short period of time. So just know that it can actually, either one can, can, be, um, can be relevant and somehow that that song desperado why don't you come to huh okay oh is there anything else what is this spanish spanish speaking hmm what else what else what else for for he's the jolly good fellow for he's the jolly good fella what is this Ce celebrating somebody is getting recognized retirement even um it's like a vfw club or something like that or a uh the, like i'm thinking this is funny but now i'm getting a fred flintstone reference so fred could mean something that show could mean something wilma also betty and barney any of those names could relate but i'm getting something here about um someone being like commemorated or celebrated as a veteran possibly, or like a, a club, an Elks club, a VFW club, something like that. Okay. You might actually receive something in their honor. Um, they have, there's some sort of emblem or something I'm seeing that they wore. Maybe we're getting some here, something about a captain. There's a captain of something. Maybe um, they could have been uh, into the Marines or Marina, the water, water, even maybe something. What else do we have here? Um, getting something, a uh, reference to catechism. So like Catholic Church as a kid, catechism. You may have met somebody in catechism or the Whitaker. Okay, I hear Whitaker. Wow. Wow, wow, okay. Um, what else, what else, what else? We have the Queen of Staves. All right, so this is the Queen of Wands here, all right? Now, for whatever reason, this Queen of Wands does not look very thrilled. They look sort of tired. This Queen of Wands is boxed in. If you try to um, hide your fire, that that could that could really uh, dim your light. Like you, it's important that you shine, you stand out, you allow that out. Let yourself be free, Libra. There's something here that there's you, you have to be free. Okay, I'm getting non-identical female twins. All right. Nine identical female twins. Irish siblings too, even they call it, you know, like it's uh, not meant to be offensive. I'm, you know, Irish too, but it's it's like when you're born within like 18 months of each other. So it could be that, but I was getting something about twins. Twin girls. Hmm. Okay. Sadness about that too. I'm getting something sad. What else do we have here? Libra. Um, taking a right. You're making the right decision. You're making the right decision. Okay. You're turning that wheel. Grab hold of the wheel. That's the right decision. That is the right decision. All right. So. Hmm. Fire energy here. Fire sign maybe. I'm getting Leo. I'm getting Bradley. What was that? There was something August 15th. All right. Try, something, somebody trying to be saved. Okay. Or something like this. Um, 
it was a heroic effort. Someone may have uh, actually passed on as a hero. Okay, Libra, what else do we have? Nope, they're telling me that's not right. I have to go over to here now. There may be a little more about this. Thermostat? Is thermostat? Uh, ther um, thermos. No, a thermos, actually. They're showing me a thermos. So do you have someone's old thermos, coffee mug, cup, something? They always had it with them or something. Or they, <laughs> they always had like a giant thing of coffee or something with them. They, okay, I'm getting a camping reference even too. This person was prepared. Okay, grandmother, Grace. Okay, so this is about truth, Libra. And I was getting grandmother energy for this entire reading before I started. That's why I chose the Golden Girls deck. Um, but we have that chickadee here. Now that, now when a chickadee is near, the truth was just spoken. If you say something or you're having a thought and or you're trying to figure out if something's true or not and a chickadee appears, that to me means the truth has arrived. All right. You can connect with this through meditation. You can connect with this energy through meditation. You're actually being uh, given downloads here. Okay, I'm seeing that happening. Let's see. Let's get some. Um, uh, let's get. Let me get some messages here. Messages for Libra. 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 Everybody has an opinion, Libra. You don't have to take them all. You don't want to be overdosing on opinions. Is what I'm getting. Because that could that can literally make you feel sick. <laughs> That's what they said. It'd be like overdosing on anything, really. It could make you really feel sick. So let's see. So yes, uh, signs. Like I said, signs. Someone played that game Battleship or something. I think you Battleship. That's okay. So listening to healing music could help you. This person yeah, didn't want to be sick anymore, possibly. Um, I'm getting Myrtle. And then, uh, yeah, we have grandma, we have, I'm sending you signs, feathers, blue jay feathers, feathers. You're making a choice right now, Libra. Some of you are making a very tough choice. It's going to come down to just more than logic. Okay. I know you know that Libra. They know you know that. Let's see what else we have. Two more. We have an actor and we have air energy. Okay. So uh, focusing on your breath work, Libra, you in fact are an air sign likely if you're tuning into this or you have that high up in your chart. Um, and so there's that. And then actor, so performer. Libra, somebody could be wearing a mask right now. You can't trust everything you hear at this time. All right, let me get, I want to get um, a message on that actually right now. Whenever I get a message like that in a reading, I want to know more immediately. The Saturn. Okay. Oh, revelry and indulgence. Okay. Seder. All right. The wolf, beware, oh, Libra, see what I mean? Beware who I who you trust. Okay, let's get a little more information on this here. Um, let's get a clue about this person. I saw dark hair and blue eyes. That's what I saw. Okay. Mm. Hmm. What else? Let's see, what else can I get you as far as... It's not, I can't, it's, it won't be effective if I just give attributes necessarily. Okay. Um, because, but I did, I had the blue eyes and I had the dark hair, but you know, it's going to, it could be different for all of you. You might have blue hair and dark eyes. I mean, you know how, how hard it is in a general reading like this to pinpoint, but, um, for some of you, you needed to hear that and that was your confirmation and that's that. And you'll know if it's you or not. Okay. I want to get an angel guardian angel here for that. Priorities. So be mindful of what nourishes your life energy and what depletes it. Pay attention to what brings you joy, purpose, and inner peace and prioritize those. Aspects. Yeah, there's somebody, I, I just, I am getting this, um, this energy here and it's just not, and I'm actually, I'm getting male energy. So for this too. So there's just somebody around you, um, possibly that that's uh, keeping score too. Okay. They're like, they're kind of one of those people that like keep score and they may be competitive with you, Libra. You may be picking up on that kind of vibe. And it's like, there's like trust that. And I do have uh, with this, it came out a woodpecker. So imagination. So follow your heart. Okay. That's what's going to, um, yeah. And be very uh, discerning. Okay. Be very discerning. All right. So follow your heart and be very discerning. What else do we have here? Libra. Courage, hero. Yeah. I remember I said earlier about someone passing as a hero. So there's that too. It may not have seemed logical what this person did, but they, they, um, they themselves felt it was the best time. It, yeah. If they'd known that they would have passed, they wouldn't have done it. I don't think, but 
they were worth putting there. No, that's not it. That's, I take that back completely. That's not the message. One moment. I'm getting something about a riot too. I think they didn't expect what happened, but yeah, they were led by a passion and something of uh, something more important than just the individual. It was more for something like for um, thinking of the betterment of everybody else or something. Okay, so. Hmm. And they had the, not only did you have the honor of knowing them, they had the honor of knowing you. Interesting ascension you're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality so this is soaring to new heights libra this is definitely so you're this is about thriving increasing taking off you are getting those signs libra from the universe i need to get another one actually it says of course you will make mistakes libra but the biggest one would be not to try i think yeah you had somebody who would tell you that too this is the thing so you have nothing to lose this is the thing you've been thinking about a long time just going for it. okay better an oops than a what if right? And, and your guides are here to support you. I'm going to get three cards. Okay. We're going to pause the video so you can get three, get three cards here first. Nope. Now they're saying, get it, get more information on something. Take the top three cards. What are the top three cards here? I have a uh, King of Swords making that decision to start over and uh, you're releasing yourself from something toxic here. Okay. This could have actually been something you let go of in Capricorn season two Libra. Um, there is, there are two things that you have to look forward to that you don't quite know about yet. You haven't seen it yet. All right. Um, and then there's another one here. So yeah, eight of swords. Okay. This was your, this was your feeling stuck here. This eight of swords, this, this, uh, Capricorn energy here, this is, you know, feeling very depleted, very much like wrapped and trapped is what they're telling me. Yeah. So, but then you have this awareness that comes with it and what else do we have? Yeah. Okay. So it's making that call to start over, not necessarily easy, but you actually, for some of you, it was a very easy decision. You're, you're surrounded by King of Swords energy. This is really good actually Libra, as far as, you know, just protection and making the right choices for yourself, truth, uh, authority, you know, strategic thought, this is balanced judgment. So if you're making a decision and it has to do with this new start, you know, you're making it from a, a site of total awareness. Okay. Uh, I think the total of solar eclipse energy is still with us. Um, no matter how far out it is, even for you weeks, maybe even, but there was something that uh, helped spark your inspiration and courage during that time period. That was, uh, for most of us, it was April 8th. So uh, who knows when you're watching this, but it was April 8th, 2024. So um, that was massive for some of you. This also, I'm getting baby. I'm hearing baby. Growing pains for some of you, okay? Growing pains. Mm, Florence. Something uh, really coming from your core your real values, your beliefs. Okay. Something really, you're making this call based on uh, like necessity, even for some of you, but it's more than just passion. Okay. It's something, it's like, it's like your survival. It's kind of like almost like your entire reason for, for being here. So you're not stopping yourself anymore. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Caregiver support. Thank you for what you did for me when I was here. I appreciate you. I knew you were there. Okay. Gwendolyn. Okay, so we have the Ask the Angel cards. Please remember these are not definitive answers. This is what the cards are asking right now. So for, you know, entertainment, spiritual purposes only, standard disclaimer applies. Now I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, and I have my Ask the Angel cards, um, Angel Answers, uh, Radley Valentine, and you can ask three questions. The angels will respond in this moment of time for you. We have no. One is no, and it's communicate clearly. So the communication is unclear right now. The answer is no. If you're not getting what you need out of a situation or whatever, the answer is a no. It's a no. That's the call. Next, success. Okay. That's question two. That is a success here. One more card on that. Get more information. Yes. If you get more information, then it could be a yes. You could change this no into a yes even. But this could also be a totally separate scenario if you were like doing option A, B, C, that sort of thing. And we're going to get two cards. We're going to do top, bottom. And they say middle too. So we're going to do three cards for this one. So. Third card, question. 
it says not the right time, no need to worry. We'll let you know when you're ready. You're going to know when you're ready. It's going to be very clear. You've got, there's a little more time that's coming in though. Okay. Little more, a little more information coming in. Uh, numbers wise, we have a lucky break here. 13, 13, making intuitive choices, a fruitful search. Okay. This is getting what you want, Libra. Know that angels are in fact near. Hmm. Seven spirit opening. So this is seeing the bigger picture. This is having faith, you know, the inward knowing again, they had like hermit energy. You've got judgment. You know what to do, Libra. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we're doing a prayer now. Okay. So prayer. Uh, okay. It's, um, uh, calm your thoughts and move your awareness to a peaceful space inside your heart with peace. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. Your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. That's that spiritual opening. Relax and do not worry about anything for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. All right. And there's that ascension. Yeah, movement. Movement matters. Keep yourself moving. Keep yourself moving. One, two. I hear that song. Gloria, Gloria. I think it's a song. I want you to be strong. I completed what I came here to do, and I know it was hard to let me go. Do not remember me for how you saw me at the end. All right. By the way, a reminder, when spirits cross, they don't take anger, resentment with them. That's stuff that we might hold on to, that we might worry about, but all they, that is all released. It's sort of like they leave their baggage at the door, right? At the gate. <laughs> Flipper. I'm with other loved ones on the other side, guiding you now. Lots of butterflies, lots of butterflies. There's something here with butterflies. So that could be another a further indication for you. I'm also getting an oak tree strength here. Oak tree strength. You're bearing the weight of something that's not yours. You can release this, even if it's like a been passed down from generation to generation. You're not meant to hold it. You're not meant to feel trapped, Libra. You're not meant to feel trapped. You're not to be shackled um, to what was or what someone else even did. Okay. Free yourself from that. Uh, I really admire the person you are. There's something about a tournament here. And I'm not happy when you're not happy. Again, the butterflies, the butterflies, the butterflies, you'll know what that means. There's something about an angel of peace, an angel of hope here as well. So hope could be a name to Geraldine, Geraldine, and I'm around you. So when Cardinals appear, angels are near. That's what they say. Right. And that is true. This is again. Uh, okay. Nope. That's going to be wide open. That's, that's open. They say open to everybody. I'm happy on my new adventure. Okay. Some of you, this is a crossed over, uh, uh, individual who had red hair could be person, pet, but we're getting red hair for this right now is the, is the clue that they're sending me for now. Traveling overseas, I'm getting okay as well. Look to the, oh my goodness, Libra, I said traveling overseas. And here we have, look to the future. And here we have a passport, a compass, and an airplane. Some of you are traveling. And that would be, that could be very healing for you, you know. Rodeo, rodeo. I was ready to go, but I was worried about you. Yeah, that is the case, I think, with a lot of a lot of people, a crossover. Okay, so don't think about the end. Yeah, think about our good times. Again, it's like over here, I, again, coming back to that, I didn't want you to. Um, there's something about breaking a plate, too. They broke a plate. A pr a plate. Uh, there could have been an heirloom or something. They broke a plate. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's fine. You had something of theirs and it broke. Don't worry about that. They don't want you worrying about that. Okay. That's just a thing. Things are just things. That's all it is. Mm hmm. Kanea. I'll be visiting you. Mm hmm. Wow. This, there's something here about a very exceptionally tall person too. 
all right i'm getting something about it i just looked at the clock and it said 44 47 so 4447 so 4447 so 4444 and 7 we had 7 come up 444 four, four often comes up that's a sign you are protected you're being guided angels are guiding you in one more we've known each other many lifetimes yeah this is you already this is um you know exactly who this is i'm also getting page right now i'm getting page you may have written about this the name page could mean something taylor too mm a street or something that or a park or some sort of property and had the word sky in it that could be something uh significant too for you they're showing me little berries like a tea made of little berries uh, or Jun they're showing me maybe juniper or the name juniper um what kind of berry elderberry it's like a berry that you don't normally eat or something something going on there they're um yeah, is there something about drinking, tonic, something? What is that? Have fun with others. Yes, go out, have fun, celebrate. Oh, look at this little, oh, little Daphne dog. That's what I call it, Daphne. Bentley, too. There is freedom in a rebirth, okay? I'm getting an Australia connection here for this, okay? Uh, relax, calm down. It's okay. Lavender may help. Take time to rest. Yeah, relax. It's okay. It's, it's you know, there's calm here. There's calm here. Calm here. Some of you need to just, you know, really um, step into that calm energy. And remember, there was something in here about um, the crane, concentration alertness. So calm, being calm. There's a lot of power there and keeping yourself ground and calm, um, grounded and calm. All right, and let's see what else we're going to get. I just heard Michelle, but there's, but it's Michelle or Misha, Misha, Mish, Mitch. Okay, here we go. 21. This is sensitivity. Crystal Masters 333 Libra. Rotocrosite. Uh, this is Ascended Master Lady Nada. Okay, so Rotocrosite, really good stone for uh, healing of love, emotions, uh, unconditional love, that sort of thing. Um, there's something about that happening in your future for you, Libra, too. All right. And then you have something here about embracing the moment, Libra. So make sure that you're embracing this day, this very moment. Think positively. Repel the negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. Forgive yourself. Let go. All right. What exactly is actually happening? Okay. What, you know, let's break it down. Let's really figure it out. Is this just anxiety? Is this, you know, um, you know, not just, you know, some, uh, maybe something being blocked right now, try not to judge yourself or others for the situation or, um, the place you're at right now, the place you are now doesn't mean that's where you're going. Okay. You're going somewhere else maybe, but like, again, the Ascension. So just because you're not exactly where you want to be, doesn't mean that you're not making progress. Okay. Um, let's see one more they're saying life force so your intentions and actions are intricately woven into the tapestry of existence influencing the energy of the world around you yeah so allow your soul to guide you align your intentions with your true essence here libra hmm i'm getting machinist somebody could have been a machinist machinist a sewing machine they showed me a so singer singer the name even could mean something Puffin, I'm getting Peg, all right, and Gregory, even, could be. The fresh beginning you prayed for is here. Embrace new opportunities with an open heart. I just heard something about a very happy marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. Um, I wish you the best, obviously. And um, if you'd like to share how things resonated, go for it. I always appreciate it. Oh, one final card, they say. Maxine, Maxine came in. A message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. Yes, they are. You are getting signs here. Um, this biggest message, though, I think for you this week is that now is the time. Like it's it's time for you to live your life. Okay, it's really time for you to live your own dreams now. Go fetch, so to speak. Right. So I hope this these messages find you well and please take good care of yourself, Libra. And um, yeah, just take care. Thank you.